Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming at you with a really exciting video because there's a big event happening in Manhattan today and that's Vogue Knitting Live, which is pretty much just like a giant convention for all things knitting, all things knit fashion and yarn and it should be really big and really exciting and hopefully not really crazy because the last time they had this event was actually right before the pandemic in 2020. So I'm sure people are like itching to get back to this as am I. So yeah, let's cross our fingers, hope the crowds aren't too bad and then we can get in there squish some yarn, maybe buy a couple things, and have a great time. Also, before we go in, let me show you my outfit. This is the Stephen West Panguono, which I made ages ago, but I don't think I've actually shown on my channel yet, so here it is. I'm also wearing some jewelry that I just got on my trip to Serbia that I'm really excited about. Anyway, yeah, let's head to the event. opened the doors to the marketplace so now everyone is slowly trickling in there's all this fun stuff to look at so yeah let's go exploring i should probably mention that i came to this event with pretty much no plan in mind i'm just here to have fun to wander around and to hopefully not spend too much money i don't need to buy anything i actually shouldn't really buy anything just because i don't really have time to work on anything that i do buy but that being said i still showed up with an empty tote bag and i have low self-control so We'll see what happens. <laughs> This color combo just like sings to me. I don't know why, like these three together. Ugh. Okay, I know I said I wasn't gonna buy anything, but then I stumbled across this booth that has yarn made with seaweed. And it's just beautiful. I mean, look at this color. It's like the perfect kelp green. And it's made 70% silk and 30% sea salt. I think I have to do it. I mean, that literally looks like my hometown, you know? This is like, it's so pretty. <laughs> I just stopped my running around for a little bit just to like take a seat. I found a random chair and it actually has a really great view of the whole floor and there's the runway show. Whoop, there. <laughs> I'm just gonna hang out for a little bit, catch my breath, take it easy, maybe find some food somewhere and definitely some water and yeah then afterwards I'm just gonna keep wandering around. I unfortunately did not keep my promise of not buying anything during this. I just couldn't resist. There's just too much fun stuff here. So at the end of this video, I'm gonna do a little haul and show you everything I got. And yeah, stick around for that.
Now give me the beat. You know what's funny? So I've been getting tired and I thought, okay, let me just like go find some knitting needles I can cast on with the yarn I just got and just watch some runway shows. And I just have not been able to find knitting needles anywhere. Like you'd think at a knitting convention, they'd be like the easiest thing to find. But I've just been walking around and around and around and I cannot find not one pair that'll work for this project. So I'm gonna keep hunting, I'm gonna keep exploring and yeah, we'll see what happens. Okay, I found some needles, but of course, they're out of the size I need. They have threes, they have fives, they don't have fours. So I might just size up because I'm a super tight knitter anyway and see if I can make that work. Okay, got the needles, I got my pattern. I wanna knit the Sophie scarf, which is like a super popular pattern on Ravelry right now. And you may have seen that I actually made one for my grandma that I brought to Serbia with me in my last vlog. So here's what that looked like on my grandma. And I'll link the pattern in this video description. So yeah, let's go find somewhere close to the runway to go plant down and knit a little bit. Hello again, it's now closer to the end of the day, so I'm just kind of like winding down and I wanted to show you some of the things that I got on this little adventure. So the first thing I got was a pretty big purchase and it is this absolutely beautiful handmade bag. It's just like a gigantic quilted bag, very big handles and a waterproof lining inside. And I got this because one, it's adorable. And also because the bag that I use to carry all my school supplies back and forth, it has like a big Mickey Mouse pattern on it. You may have seen it in some of my vlogs. I love that thing, but it is totally falling apart. So I got this as a replacement and I think the size is so much better and I love the design. So purchase number one. The next thing I got is that yarn that you've been seeing me knit with and that I already told you all about. It's that seaweed based tencel yarn that I am so excited about and like I showed you in the previous clips I've already been knitting with it and it feels so good. It's just so silky and so drapey and I know that 
I'm definitely going to get a lot of wear out of this. And I really like that it kind of looks like a piece of kelp or a piece of seaweed, so I think thematically the whole thing just works and it makes me happy. The last thing I got is actually a little assortment of yarns for a project that I've had my eyes on for a while. I've been eyeing a lot of Dawn Barker's patterns, like Barker wool. She does really cool assigned pulling projects. And there's one in particular where you stripe Surrey alpaca with like a, a regular yarn together and it creates this really cool effect. I'll put a picture of the pattern here. And anyway, I've been wanting to do one of these for a really long time, but I haven't really found the perfect yarn for it yet. And today I was walking around and Queen Fibers or King Fibers, I don't know how to say it, they have their show specific colors. So it's like specific to today's event, they dyed a whole bunch of yarn and I absolutely love it. It looks like this and the colors are not that green on the screen right now so I'll show you some close-up photos. But it's basically fluorescent green and speckle and I just think it is so much fun. It's a fun balance of neutral and chaos and I think it'll make for a really fun shawl. And then to pair with it, I got this really beautiful Camellia Fiber Co. I hope I'm saying that right. Camellia Fiber Co. Alpaca Silk and Cashmere Pastel Blue. I think together it's gonna be really cool. So I'm really looking forward to this and I think it's gonna make for a really fun and funky shawl. When I used to work at a yarn store, something we'd always kind of like joke about is that people would buy yarn in whatever color they happened to come in wearing that day and i always just used to think that that was like just a funny thing but i totally am guilty of that today <laughs> shamelessly so i guess it's true there's something about it i was just really into these colors <laughs> anyway it's the end of the day i spent pretty much all day here so i am totally pooped so i'm probably gonna head home and i just want to thank you for coming along on this adventure with me I hope this is fun. I know it was definitely a little on the shorter side, but hopefully you still had a good time. And yeah, hopefully you'll join me for some adventures in the future. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to see some more of my content and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.